Hello everyone, it's Ben here again from exercise.co.uk We've got uh, another exercise demonstration video today for you So we've got the five best exercises for your forearms Probably not the first muscle group you think of training However, the benefits of training your forearms transition through all of your training Because you're using them through every different element of your day-to-day -day training And all your different workout routines building up strength in your forearms can transition through to all of your other training so developing that strength there will help you through particularly uh, exercise like you bent over rows pull-ups even down to uh, chest press wherever you may not be thinking you're using your forearms it's a secondary function that's there and that's going to transition through to all of your other training so there are massive benefits to having that functional forearm strength there and you might not think there's a lot of variety to your training with your forearms, but you'd be surprised at how many exercises are actually available to create some variety in there that you can integrate quite easily with other muscle groups as well. So we've got five of our favorites coming up right now. Here we go. First up, we have the farmer's walk, which uh, doesn't look like a forearm exercise, but when you get into it, it really feels like a forearm exercise. You just need a couple of preferably like reasonably heavy weights uh, on your side, and all you're going to do is walk with the weights in a couple of lengths and just turn it around again you can walk as far as you possibly can with them and just keep looping until your forearms can't take any more and you will start to feel the pressure there Alright, All right. second exercise for your forearms that we really like is wrist rotations, which you can use, I've got a pair of dumbbell bars here, but if you've got a straight bar, you can also use a straight bar as well. Uh, with this exercise, you don't need an excessive amount of weight because it's more about the range of motion, which isn't very far either. So you don't need to be overloading your forearms too much, it's more just about the small range of motion and contracting it as well. With the weight in front of you, you're just going to curl just your wrists inwards and you'll see your forearms contract and hold it at the top for a second and bring it back down and curl up again and you'll see your forearms and feel your forearms contract so just try to keep the motion restricted just to your wrist you don't want anything like this you don't want to be moving the weight too dramatically it's just all going to be localized into your hand. And this is really going to feel on the outside and the inside of your forearms. Okay, third exercise coming up. Third exercise is quite similar to the second one, but with weight plates. So if you have a pair of weight plates, these have like a triangular grip design, you can just lock the tips of your fingers into them. So you won't need a heavy weight with these. So you're just going to let the plate hang on the end of your fingers and then just try and curl your fingers up and inwards and then extend them again. And then just try and curl them inwards. Which again, with your forearms, a lot of the time the range of motion isn't huge. But you can really, really feel it localized to that area as well. So forearm exercises are generally good to use at the end of, uh, of another muscle group. So perhaps training them at the end of your biceps works or even your back as well, because you pre-exhaust your forearms a lot of the time with your back. Uh, so it really helps to just add a couple of forearm exercises in at the end, like the plate pulls there. So we've got fourth exercise coming up right now. Okay, so next exercise we have wrist curls, which you don't need a weight bench for, which I'm using here, but you can use any flat surface with a dumbbell. Uh, and just rest your forearm over the flat surface with your wrist and your hand hanging off the end. Again, use a light weight, a really light weight, so that you're not putting a lot of strain on this area here because it is susceptible to injury so you just want to be really careful making sure you use a nice light weight and just focus on the motion itself again so for this you're just going to have your hand in an extended position here and curl it gently 
upwards just again not moving your wrist keeping that fixed to the flat surface and just extending and contracting that motion to really focus on the inside of your forearm here and contract it at the top of the range of motion just hold it there for a second and then slowly bring it back down bring it up and contract again and remember to keep slowly bringing it back down don't bring the dumbbell too low into the motion you don't want to bring it all the way down here because that that is going to put too much strain on your wrist only bring it down 70 percent of the way and stop there when you start to feel any pull as you're coming down just bring it back up and then repeat on the other side as well of course you don't want any imbalances in your forearms so fifth and final exercise for your forearms is actually using a small accessory called a hand grip that you can just squeeze together to train your forearms. We actually don't have any, so I'm gonna use a spring collar, which the principle works exactly the same. So if you have any collars that you use to lock onto the end of your bars, one of these will probably work just, just right. The principle is just on a spring, you're just squeezing the collar or the hand grip together. You can pick the hand grips up really, really cheap. They're, they'll only cost maybe about five pound tops. And you just want to keep extending and contracting that and squeezing it as far. You can get them with multiple uh, resistance levels depending on the strength that you want for them. And just contracting and squeezing those will also help strengthen your forearm as well. Um, so that's just convenient. Uh, to, to use if you don't have any of the other types of equipment that we've used this is a really easy convenient way to uh, to train your forearms at the end of a workout one important thing with your forearms is we stress not to use too much frequency because as we've said and we're kind of banging on about it quite hard they are really susceptible to injury so we never want to advocate any exercises that are going to bring about or increase the risk of injury but with low frequency they can actually have the opposite effect they can make you less susceptible to becoming injured by strengthening those areas but we recommend really just doing some forearm exercises perhaps once a month just to focus on your grip strength and that forearm strength there but the key is not to use them too frequently so that you're becoming susceptible to repetitive strain injuries or just any kind of wrist strains that, that, that you want to avoid so maybe just cap that out once a month at the end of one of your workouts like we recommend either your biceps or a back workout they're great just to add a couple of ex exercises at the end just to help improve that grip strength and forearm strength so we hope of throwing in a couple of different exercises that you're not familiar with seeing um, and, and hopefully you'll see the effects of uh, your forearm strength growing and transitioning through all of your other training. So we've got plenty more of these on the way, so don't forget to like, follow, share, and subscribe to our channel, and we'll be back very, very soon. Thanks for watching.